But sea levels continue rising at an alarming rate. That's according to a report just released by the government. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch tells us how much the East Coast could be affected. A soothing day down shore, perfect for a slow stroll in the sand with human's best friend. Quite the contrast, though, to storm riddled days when waves pummel the coastline, tidal flooding fills streets, and surge rages ashore. And these events will get worse, according to NOAA. We spoke with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration scientist, William Sweet. The flood frequencies are going to increase and they're going to become more problematic. By the numbers, sea level rise over the next 30 years will average 10 to 12 inches along the U.S. coastline, as much as it rose in the last 100 years. More specifically, 10 to 14 inches along the Atlantic coast. What uh, is now considered sort of minor nuisance. High tide flooding is going to reach sort of these moderate stages, which is usually typically damaging to uh, property, infrastructure. Major flooding four feet deep is likely to occur every other year. On a global scale, sea level is affected by warming oceans and melting glaciers. Here in New Jersey, there is more to the story. The land is sinking, compounding the problem. Due to the effects um, from an ice sheet during our last ice age, that ice sheet no longer exists, um, but the land is still readjusting. Jennifer Walker with Rutgers University says rise recorded by the end of the 21st century in New Jersey depends on human behavior. Under a, a high emission scenario, we're talking about a likely sea level rise between 2.3 and 6.3 feet. With low emissions, less rise. The more we do now and the sooner we do it, um, the less um, sea level rise we'll have to adapt to in the future. The longer we'll get to enjoy our coastlines as we do today. From Belmar, New Jersey, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.